Well, to celebrate our 20th anniversary of Lakeland News, we're taking a look back at some of the memorable local stories that we've covered over the years. We're calling it 20 for 20. 20 stories in all, one for each of the 20 years we've been on the air with Lakeland News. Now, the 4th of July is a big time for outdoor events in many communities in our viewing area. In Bemidji, the JC's Water Carnival is a 4th of July tradition. But things turned frightening on July 2nd of 2012 when a fast-moving storm system moved through the area and heavily damaged areas from Bemidji all the way to Grand Rapids. Reporter Jamil Donath had the report for us the night of the storm. The most damage was seen at the Bemidji JC's Water Carnival where a tree collapsed on the main tent where only moments before an event was being held. It's, it's heartbreaking because we don't know how we're going to go forth at this point. We, we have ideas, but we just don't know what the damage is. Some people at the carnival barely had enough time to find cover when the storm hit. It was bad. I couldn't even see from here to that tree right there. It was just sheets of rain coming by. The National Weather Service reported that the storm produced straight line winds of 70 to 80 miles per hour. Many residents were without power for at least a day, but no one was killed in the storm. Reporter Jamil Donath is now a multimedia journalist in West Palm Beach, Florida, and you can watch the rest of her story on our website, lptv.org, tomorrow. Now, next Wednesday night, we take a look back at a story from the year 2013. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.